I am now looking for the last part of the Scavenger Hunt for Tokyo Game Show 2021 or VR 2021. Can I go back here? Go. That was it. I have all eighty four. Okay. Now let's go back down. And let's see what they have to say. Not sure what exactly happens after all 84 are found, or it has to accumulate with everyone else finds all 84. But let's go ahead back to the portal. So it's level four. Okay, well, I did I did my part. Well, I found all 84 fragment of crystals at the Tokyo Game Show VR 2021. And uh, pretty much uh, after you find the 84th crystal, um, you pretty much are told that you know that uh, well actually you're not told anything actually when you go back you realize that there's 75 percent of the uh i guess of the crystals found let's go let's see what they have to say about it not you 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 found 84 fragments of crystal total fragments collected are 309,362 so quite a bit of people are playing um this crew current crystal status is level four when you go right here it's 75 percent restoration nearly complete so what that tells me is probably by tomorrow since it's sunday in the u.s um they can you know they the, the creators are thinking hey you know there are people from internationally who are playing so we'll extend this to sunday even though uh sunday is today in japan um but yeah it's, uh, you know, we'll see what happens tomorrow, but other than that, uh, I have to say that the, uh, the, you know, the team that developed this, of making the Tokyo Game Show in VR, uh, they did a pretty uh, solid job of creating various, you know, booths, you know, having these models like this, the Gundam. And when you look at it on VR, I'm not sure so much since I'm recording the video that this is pretty much the scale of when you go to Diver City, and that's what I like about it. Well, this well, first of all, this Gundam is no longer Diver City; it's the Unicorn Gundam. But prior to that, it was this. So I think uh, you know. 
I'm quite pleased the way of, of how things were developed. You go right here. You can see the emergency broadcast of how the ship was hacked by computer virus. And uh, they need the crystals to maintain a platform for connections. So I think uh, overall, I'm quite pleased. By the way, um, for those who are still trying to find the last few crystals, I was focusing, focusing so much on the barrels, the chests, and the bases, not knowing that the um, lights outside of those wooden bungalows near Konami or Capcom, or it's Konami actually, um, yeah, it, I had no idea that they were hidden. Some of those fragments were hidden though, so that, that kind of, you know, took a while for me to find or you know, discover. The other one is the Attack on Titan. Of course, for such a large area, you're thinking there has to be something there. And eventually I found it towards the middle, and that was it. Those were the last two. But overall, this was a challenging... Well, no, it was too challenging. Because all you had to do was watch videos and just pretty much click on things. But there are probably about a handful that were quite challenging because of the placements and where they were hidden. But, I mean, just look, look at this. I mean, they did a good job of developing, you know, the maps and... See if I can click on this. It's a little blurry here. There we go. But I like how they also introduced like live uh, theater events. Idol Master. You have the different groups of girls performing, so that that was pretty cool. Um, the same thing here in the urban area. The Karakai Jozu no Takagi san VR project. That was pretty awesome. Um, and then, of course, you get the Hexa Ride Attack on Titan 360 experience. Wasn't that long. Probably like two minutes or so. But still, um, the fact that they introduced this, I think that was pretty cool. So, what would I have done? You know, what would I like to see? Uh, different for uh, if they do this again for 2022. Because, uh, for one, I, I do like the fact that they are doing this. So, it gives people a chance... Um, you know, to attend the event virtually for those who can't travel to Japan. I thought that, so that's one thing I hope they do continue this. But what would I like to see added? Well, one thing that would be cool is that, you know, for every show that I went to in Japan or Tokyo, cosplay plays a big part. And I know that at the Tokyo Game Show, you know, they have. I know E3, they, they start cutting down on booth babes and stuff like that, but I think that for people to show off their costumes, like a portal where they can see, um, you know, for the live events, photos of the day, that would be cool to see. My hand is all messed up here. Anyway, um, uh, the other one would be panels. Uh, I know there are panels on YouTube. But if those panels can be included on the VR, um, that would be great so people can actually watch them, uh, especially some of the announcements made. Um, you know, I know that YouTube and Twitter is an extension of this, but to have it all included in one place, that would be great, um, especially if you're going to be here for quite a while. Um, but other than that, I, you know, for the most part, I'm actually quite pleased with the whole concept. Um, this is the first time I've seen something like this done for a major uh, show, uh, for a video game show, and uh, I, I don't know if we'll ever see you know, like anime conventions or sci-fi conventions do something like this, but this is a pretty solid effort, and they had a lot of collaborations with other companies, you know, as you would expect for you know, one of the largest game shows in the, in the world. But overall, yeah, I'm quite pleased with, uh, with how this turned out. And it's all coming to an end. Um, again, uh, 
the last day was today in Japan, but I'm guessing there's going to be another day because of what we see here. Once it's 100%, I believe that would be tomorrow on Sunday in the U.S. And uh, I'm not sure what will change, but for the most part, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up. And, uh, you know, congratulations to the uh, development team uh, who put this together. The NTT VR costume port, um, that one I, I did like. I, you know, I did like, but once you go into it, you actually have to go to uh, the website, the web portal developed by NTT, and it's a, it's a, I guess again it's another extension, but again it would have been it would have been great if they included it as another portal hub within this uh, this application, but. You know, there's not much to complain. This is a free app. Uh, they developed this. You know, I'm not sure how long it took, but the fact that they are allowing people from all over the world a chance to attend Tokyo Game Show virtually is a major plus. Um, is there anything else? I like the concept of the VR shop, but one thing... Um, that would be nice is that uh, to let people know if the clothing or shirts that are being offered on Amazon is of you know Japan sizes or Western sizes. Uh, for those not familiar, uh, size differences between clothes from Japan and the uh, and the U.S. or Western are quite different. So if you're gonna get if for those of you who wear um, you know, let's say double XL or XL is an example. If you are XL US, um, or actually if you are XL Japan, that is pretty much the equivalent to almost like a um, like a large. So um, no, yeah, large Japan size. In other words, the Japanese sizes are smaller. Um, I tend to buy a lot of uh, Japanese baseball jerseys each time I go to Japan, and um, there is uh, um, sometimes for the you know athletic sports they tend to offer uh, you know Western sizes, but most often um, if you are going shopping and you need to try them on, you'll notice there's a big difference that J Japan sizes are much smaller. I hope this makes sense. I'm just rambling right now. Um, other than that, yeah. So I'll probably, I probably will uh, report one more time because I want to see what happens when this is 100% connected. I realized that while doing this, I forgot to show a final photo of all the shirts. So we're going to start with page one. Fragments of crystals. Let's look at these. We have Quinko, a parakeet morph from such a pun. Okay. Sign of an Othelonian. Oh, they have the release dates right here. Megiddo 72, an RPG that transforms the spirit of hope. Deco mascot. Tells of her eyes. A hoodie doll. Hoodle doll. Armed with a replica blazing sword. Project Luminous logo. So this is an idol master. Cinderella Girls. Okay. The Ghost Chase of Pac-Man. Ihachi, Kazuya, and Kazumi Pixel Art Set from Tekken 7. A 
attack on Titan, the final operation to retake Wall Maria. Facsimile of Apuni. Atelier Ryza 2. Nobunaga's Ambition Shusei. Shiba Sawako's brand's 40th anniversary title. 40th anniversary? Combine the 1 vs. 100 action of Dynasty Warriors with the addition of strategic elements. Dynasty Warriors 9 Empire Sets. Players on a quest to conquer ancient China by boat, sword, and strategy. This year marks Sonic's 30th anniversary. The Jack Frost t shirt of Atlas. Series 2 Nintendo Switch, November 11th. The latest title in Shin Megami Tensei series is part of the Nintendo Switch. Oh, you know what? One thing I forgot to bring up in my last uh, report was that usually when you go to other shows in Japan that bring an international audience, they don't really put out a lot of English information. And the fact, the, the fact that this is all in English, that's pretty awesome. So again, congrats to the staff. Especially the translators involved in this project. Tokimeki Memorial Girl Side, Fourth Heart. Castlevania Advanced Collection. Monster Hunter. Sukino. Monster Hunter Story 2 Wings of Ruin. Monster Hunter Rise. The Element. Mon Hun Boo. Monster Hunter Fan Club. Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster logo. Silk Cat Man. Pixel Bubble 3D Vacation Odyssey. It's Bub's 35th birthday. Wow. Colorful Orbs. Puzzle Dragons. Quite a few Puzzle Dragons. Come on, come on, come on. Tamiko. TV Tokyo's Today's The Day to Do Conference. Esports High TV. Harada Shusuke. Akagaki Shotaro. TV Tokyo announcers. Who are esports announcers? And I, VTuber Tamiko. That's pretty cool. Karakai Jozo no Takagi san. I've read the original novel for this, so this is really interesting to see, uh, to see this. Eru and Tris. Rando. Nana. Jessica. Musashi. Megaton Musashi. Yamato Ichidaiji. Bark. Logo. This Cronia, Cronus Alternate Key Visual. So this is the new Cronus uh, game. There's already two out on the Oculus Store um, in the US. So if you want it in English, you can download now, but the third one's coming out to be released in 2022. Episode Yamato, that's uh, the DLC that's out right now for Alt Deuce. Where's that Alt Deuce? Go Kronos, the first one of the uh, VR adventure. It's a visual novel, by the way. Famitsu and Dengeki. This is very. This is a very interesting collaboration. Because in a way, I always thought they. I know that they both are the same industry, but I thought they were like rival type of companies. That. Uh, Produce game information, but this is a pretty cool uh, collaboration. Weekly Famitsu 35th Anniversary. Kanji for Environment. Uh, this one was uh, rather interesting. This is the one that had like a like a uh, Minecraft looking booth area, and they were talking about the uh, 
they had a video about global warming and how things have uh, went up by uh, how many degrees each each year. Okay, and these are all the Tokyo Game Show covers that you have to find. There's a total of 30 of them. And these are the ones hidden in like barrels, and, uh, vases, chests, and lighting fixtures. The official shirt of TGS VR 2021. Yeah, I'd buy one if it was, uh, just depends if it's western size. I think that should be mentioned. VR Katakana Letter T-shirt. <laughs> Definitely. Wake up. And so we're back to the beginning. But yeah, these are the uh, the uh, eighty-four fragments of crystals and. Again tomorrow, we'll check out what this 100% connected will be, and if it changes the environment or, or what, you know, not really sure, but at least you get another day to check out the Tokyo Game Show. Again, the, the, the way things are going right now, um, in, uh, there's a lot of awesome videos, a lot of panels that are being released on YouTube and Twitter. So also check that out. There's a lot of, a lot of content, despite not having the actual event at Makahari Mesa in Chiba. So, again, a lot of the stuff is on, vir uh, on VR, virtual reality, and uh, you know, thumbs up to the staff and translators and everyone involved in this project. So, okay, that's it. I'm leaving.